There's certain days that you just need to turn on Junkie XL's Mad Max Fury Road soundtrack, specifically the track Brother in Arms, because you just got to get pumped up. And today is one of those days. Today is the day that we launch our Kickstarter campaign, which is crazy. Um, so, gosh, there's so many things that I can say about Kickstarter campaigns. Uh, this is only the second one that I run. Uh, the first one that I ran was unsuccessful. <laughs> and so my advice, take it all with a grain of salt. Um, but I figured I would share with you just a few of the things that we really tried to think through and be strategic about when putting together our Kickstarter campaign. Uh, and I will pause our music for this, if I can. There we go. Uh, so, first and foremost, uh, I think it's extremely, extremely important that you know who your audience is. Uh, and not just generally. It's like, oh, I'm talking to, you know, guys. No, that is way too general. Uh, and, and obviously there are certain projects where it's going to be very easy to identify who your audience is. So uh, let's just talk about something that's near and dear to my heart, Star Wars. Let's imagine that you're trying to kickstart a Star Wars fan film. This is totally doable. People have done it. Now, obviously, the first thing that you would say, like, well, my audience are Star Wars fans. But let's be more specific than that. What's the main character that you're going to be focusing on? Are you focusing on a prequel era character? Are you focusing on a sequel era character? Okay, how can we market specifically to those people that enjoy those things? Getting as specific as humanly possible. Um, the specific age range, because ultimately different age ranges use different social media platforms. So should you invest your time in really promoting and spending money on ads on a place like Facebook? Or is that a complete waste of money because really your, uh, your, the film that you're working on is for a younger demographic. And a lot of younger demographics are in places like Snapchat or in places like Instagram. So maybe it'd be better to spend your uh, effort promoting things there. So being very, very specific about those things and knowing those things, because ultimately that's going to uh, determine how you ultimately put together your video, how you put together the copy for your Kickstarter page, uh, and all the things you actually describe and say. And then it'll also affect the rewards. If you think specifically about who your audience is, again, let's talk about Star Wars fans, uh, maybe having some sort of Star Wars merchandise as the rewards for those that give to your campaign would be actually incentivizing. Uh, because if ultimately you are, again, doing a Kickstarter campaign for a Star Wars film, silly example, but still nonetheless makes sense. If you were offering props from Battlestar Galactica or Star Trek, that would make less sense. Um, so really considering what is it that would actually incentivize my audience. Uh, something else that I would mention too is just kind of thinking about how a person's brain works, right? So if you have a $50 tier and a $75 tier, how can you really just push them from that 50 to that $75 tier? And maybe it's just the fact that, you know what? Just the, the actual specific thing that you get from that. When you're giving $50, you only get a Blu-ray copy, but when you're giving $75, you get a poster as well, and you've had someone actually design uh, and draw and make this beautiful Star Wars poster that would really incentivize them. You know what? I can give 25 more dollars. Um, and you know, all of this sounds like I'm trying to manipulate people uh, and kind of like force them into giving you money. And that's not in any way, shape, or form what I'm saying. Uh, you absolutely want to be giving them value and, and ultimately, hopefully, the product itself is the thing that will be the most valuable. And that's the real reason that pretty much anybody gives to a Kickstarter campaign. But nonetheless, encouraging people just to take those little incremental steps upwards so that you can get across that finish line with your Kickstarter campaign is ultimately what you all want. So you're looking out for your best interest, but also for their best interest. Um, so you know what, I will probably report back to you in the next 30 days, let you know how the Kickstarter campaign is going. Uh, I'm just now arriving to work, which means in the next few minutes, I'm going to hit launch and be sharing something on Facebook, which is, well, you know, it's crazy. And I think, oh yeah, for this, we need an epic lens flare and we need a little bit more of some Mad Max because today is the day that we launch our Kickstarter campaign.